hi guys we're back with another wig install for you guys today we're going to be installing this doobie wig by altre this is a pixie mohawk cut i wanted to try something different when it comes to my hair because i've never had short hair before so i wanted to try something different and this is what i picked this was an Altre 100% Human Hair Premium Doobie Wig Pixie Mohawk in the color 2. They didn't have any other colors available when I ordered this wig, so that's why we ended up with the 2. But they also had different colors like blue, purple, uh, auburn, blondes, reds, gingers, but you know, I just wanted the regular 2 because this was my first time trying this wig, so we didn't want to do anything too crazy. But yeah, you guys, as you can see, I was just getting all the, you know, tags off. But one thing about this wig is when you are pulling off the tags, make sure you're pulling off all of them because it was one inside of the wig that I'm glad I seen before I installed this wig or it would have been in my wig without me knowing. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys take off all the tags because there is more than one attached. But in this wig, there were four combs, one in the back, one on the right side, one on the left side, and one in the front, along with an adjustable strap that you can adjust to make your wig tighter or looser. I have a small head, as you guys know, so I adjusted my wig as tight as it can be. One thing I will say about this wig is the hair was super duper soft. This is human hair, so it was very soft. Um, the curls were there, like literally, even though I combed out some of the curls, the curls were still there. Before receiving my wig, I actually did watch a couple of reviews on this wig and a lot of people actually recurled the wig and, you know, made their own curls and everything like that. But I didn't feel like it was, you know, I didn't need to do any of that because the curls were very cute as they were. Um, but yeah, the only thing I did do was cut a little bit of the back off because it was a lot of hair in the back and I'll be, you know, turning around soon so you guys can see what the back looks like. You can actually see what I'm talking about right here. Just those side pieces I did cut off. I didn't do it on camera, but I did it right after I recorded this video because I didn't like how it looked. Um, because I wasn't trying to do too much to the wig, you know, because it's not a wig that you know you need to do a lot to. Um, but yeah, I did end up cutting off the sides. So this was the back of the wig. It was very cute. Like I said before, I did cut off that extra hair on the side because, you know, I just wanted it to fit my head and, you know, fit my face the way I wanted it to. Some people left it, you know, but I wanted to cut it off, so I did. And honestly, the wig had its own curl pattern going on. So I just feel like, you know, the only thing you had to actually do was just use your fingers and brush through it. Um, but yes, this was the final look. This was a very cute wig. I was actually very nervous about how it would look or how I would look in it. But yes, your girl was feeling the wig. It was looking very cute. Of course, we had to add some glasses just to complete the look. But it was giving. Um, I actually did comb it down instead of, you know, uh, combing my fingers through it. I did comb it down. I actually loved the way it looked like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want this wig, click the link in my description, wig types. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.